Here's your latest African news. Ethiopia. Ethiopia's Tigray fighters take UNESCO World Heritage Town of Lalibela. Fighters from Ethiopia's northern Tigray region have taken control of the town of Lalibela, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in neighboring Amara region. Lalibela, home to 13th century churches hewn from rock, is a holy site for millions of Orthodox Christians. Residents have been fleeing the rebel advance. Kenya, the first ever national wildlife census in Kenya set to begin. Kenya's very first national wildlife census takes to the air after launching on May the 7th in 2021. The census is conducted through a partnership with the Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife, the Kenya Wildlife Service and the newly created Wildlife Research and Training Institute. Uncontrolled poaching, increasing human settlements and climate change have all taken a toll on the world's animal populations and central Kenya is no different from the rest. Much of the existing data on the country's wildlife population are gathered individually by local advocacy groups or international conservationists contributing to a scattershot approach to animal protection. Nigeria. Authorities seize pangolin scales destined for export. Nigerian customs officials have announced the country's third largest bust of pangolin scales and the arrest of three foreign nationals. Pandemic travel restrictions have slowed this trafficking of the endangered anteater to Asia, where its scales are used in traditional medicine. But experts are saying a July raid at a Lagos warehouse shows, without a doubt, that traffickers have been stockpiling wildlife parts pending the lifting restrictions. This week, authorities displayed the confiscated items at a briefing in Lagos. They say 196 sacks of pangolin scales weighing 7.1 tons were seized in the raid, along with 840 kilograms of elephant ivory. Mozambique. Rwanda troops in Mozambique claim progress against jihadists. Rwandan forces in Mozambique, deployed less than a month ago to help battle jihadists, have Thursday said that they have scored success in driving out the militants wreaking havoc in the country's gas-rich north. The forces last week helped the Mozambican army regain control of Awase, a small but strategic settlement near the key town of Mokimbao da Praia, seized by militants in August last year. The town from where the first Islamist attacks were staged in October 2017 has last year since become the de facto headquarters of the IS-linked extremists. Mozambican military forces have been struggling to regain control over the province, which is home to one of Africa's biggest liquefied natural gas projects. Rwanda said the insurgents have fled Owase to other small towns near Makimboa da Praia, but they are closing in on them. Southern Africa. Zimbabwean-owned South African-based car maker to debut in Namibian markets rather. Zimbabwe owned and South African based car maker Mureza Primate is set to launch in the Namibian market next month. The car maker has so far released the first batch of units that are on the market in Zimbabwe and South Africa a fortnight ago. The Mureza vernacular for flag in Zimbabwean Shona language is an idea conceptualized by Tendai Mungofa, a Zimbabwean national based in South Africa, meant to create a vehicle that speaks to the different aspects of Africanism that border around originality, durability, adaptability, while encompassing the very latest technology and modern design scalability. Mureza, Namibian country chief executive, Officer Lancelot, says the launch in Namibia is part of the company's expansion plan that will also see the brand being traded in other countries in the Southern African region. Mureza Primates is currently targeting Angola, Botswana, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Namibia, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. With the test launches done and targeted in South Africa, Zimbabwe, DRC, and Namibia, where footprints have already been established. Africa-wide, AU starts distributing 400 million COVID jabs. The African Union has started the distribution of 400 million COVID jabs to member states. Its chairman, South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa, has announced. Several countries received their first of the monthly shipments yesterday. The AU said the 400 million vaccines should be enough to immunize a third of the continent's population and bring Africa halfway towards the goal of vaccinating at least 60% of its people. 
Sierra Leone. Scientist spots crab not seen in 200 years. On a recent trip to Sierra Leone, Cameroonian scientist Pierre Mvogondongo found a species of freshwater crab that had not been seen by scientists for more than 200 years. The Afzalius's crab of the Afrithelpusa um, was first identified in the 18th century. On a recent visit, Prof Ndongo uh, headed for the Mayomba district where sightings have been reported. Kenya, fishermen net six mortar bombs in Lake Victoria. A group of fishermen looking for a catch in the fisher in the fishermen in the western Mbita town who had thought they had caught a large now perch on Wednesday morning hastily opened the box only to discover the rusty bombs. Kenya's police have been tweeting about the incident saying two of the fishermen jumped into a lake in fear that the bombs would explode while three of their colleagues steered the boats ashore. They reported the discovery to the beach authorities, who then informed the Kenyan police. Kenya's Department of Criminal Investigations, DCI, said that the bomb disposal experts were immediately informed and rushed to the scene and took possession of the cache. The bombs were expected to be safely donated later by the experts. In 2019, explosives believed to be the form of colonial era were found concealed in an old rusty wooden box in the lake. Thank you so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Checky to watch our daily news reports and our website as well at tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And remember that Africa is watching. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.